everyone so I'm so excited because I have my vlogging camera now which I have been saving up for so long it's been through saving up my AdSense that I make through my YouTube videos so all those annoying ads that you see pop up on my video I have used anything that I have earned from that to get this camera so thank you for putting up with the ads so today I actually have some really neat things planned for you I actually need to get my closet ready for summer. So I'm going to do a little bit, kind of a closet declutter, but just getting organized for summer, getting my sandals where they need to be. So I'll show you all that in a minute. But I really quickly wanted to share with you my outfit for today because this is from Anthropology. It's one of my newly rentals that I will probably share with you next week. I'll share, I'll share everything else in my newly rental next week. But I'm like really impressed with this dress but at the same time, there's like some fit issues that I have with it. So I did get this dress in a size medium and the fit is perfect aside from the top. I just have a lot of excess material right here. So it might be nice if you are more busty on top. This actually might be a nice dress for you because it really has lots of forgiving room up on top. So when you look at the bottom of the dress, this is my favorite part because it has this really pretty just very tropical summery floral print on it just very vibrant and happy i love it this dress will work for today and i really want to get the wear from it too because it's so pretty it definitely deserves to be worn and i don't have to wear any shape or anything underneath it the, the fabric is thick enough so i don't have to worry about anything like that i will take you back to my closet space which i actually don't think i have shown you my new little setup over here so i used to have this wardrobe over here but I really like having my dresser with this mirror this is actually a mirror that I found at Hobby Lobby and it's one of those mirrors that looks like the anthropology mirror that everybody has and I just I love it but it's just so expensive maybe one day I can afford it but I actually really am very happy with this one it looks really nice and it just really like gives me that French simple elevated French look that I love this is my closet space over here this is my husband's closet on this side but this is the situation we have today I need to go through my clothes and just figure out what I want to keep I need to sort through some stuff there are some things that I've recently purchased um, not like recently but within the past couple of months that I feel like I kind of just bought because I wanted to you know and I didn't really have a goal in mind with the, some of the pieces and some of them just don't fit right so I'm gonna go ahead and go through all that today I did already put all of my summer sandals down here I just obviously I need to sort it out that was Chloe if you haven't met Chloe this is my puppy Chloe I actually am thinking about keeping these curtain racks up here or not curtain like the things that hold the curtains up because they make for a really great dresser excuse you excuse you so I can hang my dresses out you know if if there's a dress that I want to wear a particular day and I actually just think this looks really pretty just hung up right there I just think it looks really nice and I have another option to hang one right there too shake oh there we go <laughs> do you need to go outside do you need to go outside while I have you here I was going to show you the back of the dress because it is a little bit tricky so this part right here is too big like it's just a little bit off but I really like this detail in the back where you just kind of lace it up it's super easy to do and I really like the like the, how you can get it nice and fitted up here still having the issue with this situation which isn't the most flattering but I still think that it's wearable and I'm definitely gonna wear it at home while I'm just cleaning out my wardrobe and all that so I can deal with it whenever I do a closet declutter I always like to go ahead and take everything out of my wardrobe it's a whole process and it takes time to take everything out but I just feel like it's worth taking everything out because then I can get a visual of what I have in my wardrobe
goodness, I have completely forgot about this dress. Oops. It's like a free people dress. It has like, it's like the strapless style that has the, the smock material in the back. I have not worn this in so long. I completely forgot about it. So excited about this dress. Um, this is the dress I mentioned in my video before with the, the really pretty bow straps. this dress. I still love it. Oh, I'm actually going to leave this dress in my closet because this is a bridesmaid's dress and I'm wearing for my sister's wedding. So I'm going to keep that in the closet. This is a dress that I absolutely loved from Chic Wish but I got it in too big of a size. So this is actually a reminder for me. I'm gonna set it aside over on our dress over there because I need to get the next size down in this so that I can have this in the wardrobe because I still have every intention of keeping this in my wardrobe, but the size is just off. So I'm gonna go ahead and order the medium in this dress so that I can have it in my wardrobe, but this one is too big. So there's no sense in me keeping it. I just need this as a reminder. Okay, so this dress, I actually think that I might get rid of this. This is from River Island and it's in such a beautiful fabric. Like it's super light and just really, really pretty, very detailed. It's like that tie dye, but I'm actually, I know tie dye is like a huge trend. It has been a trend, but I'm not really into it. I just don't think it's really quite my vibe. So I'm thinking about actually putting this on my Poshmark because this is a beautiful dress. It's in great condition. You know what? I'm going to try it on. I'm going to try it on and see. Okay, anytime I wear this ASOS dress, I get so many questions about it. Um, obviously, it's from a, a, it's from ASOS, but it's such a good dupe for a sleeper dress. They're in kind of like the same silhouette, very similar, and I 100 times prefer this, I will say. <laughs> I love this dress, and I definitely think that it's worth the splurge, but this dress I love just as much. And you can find dresses like this on ASOS all the time. I still have this dress from Chic Wish. I love it. I still, oh, I love it so much. It has the same low back as this dress. The pattern of it too, it's so pretty, so girly. But it's in a wearable silhouette, especially if you're tall. I honestly look for any excuse to wear this dress because it is just so pretty. I have not worn this dress in so long. What am I doing? This dress, oh my goodness, from Love Shack Nancy. I actually got it from my newly, but I just, I love it so much. Actually, this dress, lovely as it is, it's in this really pretty gingham print and it has the beautiful puff sleeves. But now that I have this dress, the one from Sleeper, I don't feel like I need to hold on to this one because I know I'm going to reach for this dress over this one. I think the color is the thing that I am struggling with the most of this dress. I love the gingham print. But I think I would like more of a pink, not so much peach. I think this one I'm going to put over here with the get rid of. I actually need to move this TJ Maxx dress because this dress is a keeper. I picked this up at TJ Maxx and I am not going to wear this one because this is the best dress. It has like that corset style with the smock material in the back and I have already worn this so much. This is like my classic easy day at home dress and I just could never I don't think as of right now I could not bring myself to get rid of it so I'm gonna put it over here because that is a keeper so this is gonna be my try on I don't know if I'm gonna keep this is going to be my I am definitely going to get rid of this one I am definitely going to put over here Do you have 
love this really pretty black lace top that is from Lulu's, I believe. Yeah, it's from Lulu's. It's a little bit too big. Oh, I love the black lace on this, but I'd rather find one in my right size that I can tuck into high waist pieces because when I tuck this one in, it's kind of baggy on top. So I think this one might be worth giving to a new home. I need it in my right size. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go. Look at this blouse. I love the stitching on there. This is from Sister Jane. I found this on Poshmark. It's in a size medium and it is just way too big. I styled it with like a high waisted skirt and it looked really pretty. But the point being, I don't think that I'm going to get the wear that I would like from this. I think it is meant to be oversized, but it doesn't look the best on me. Like it kind of puts weight on me. And I'm really, I just, I know as beautiful as it is, I don't think that it's going to get the wear that it, it really deserves. Oh my gosh, just look at that stitching on there. It's so pretty, but I think I'm going to have to let this go. I can always find another blouse like that from Sister Jane. So I've reached the end, but I found a couple more pieces that I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. This one is actually in a size 12. I got this dress from Target. It has this really pretty button up. Very designer feeling to it, and the back is really pretty, but it's just too big on me now. But I loved it for the high-low style. Actually, I think I actually got this because it reminded me so much of a Love Jack Fancy dress. It was just a more affordable version. Oh, it's too big on me, so... I would rather somebody else have this dress and be able to wear it. And then this blouse is by Astra the Label. And the only reason why I'm getting rid of this is because the material really, really is very itchy on my skin. I just don't wear this because it always leaves my skin feeling itchy. I think it's just the material that it's made out of. Like it just has a little bit of a roughness to it. I've held on to this for so long too, but I think it's, it's time for this one to go. And then this is also... The other piece that I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of, I wore this a lot last year. I love the material of this. It's so soft. I just don't reach for it anymore, which I'm kind of sad about because I do love it. And it has such a pretty print. The material is so nice and light for summer too. But it just is not quite my style anymore. And I would much rather it be worn by someone who's going to wear it and love it. I'm going to go, see, I'm going to go ahead and try this dress on. And then that will be it for my glare out. Wow, I feel like I was being really, really harsh on this dress. And now that I'm trying it on again, I really, really like it. It's really not an in-your-face tie-dye. I think I'm going to end up keeping it. It's just too pretty. I want to see how much I wear it this summer because I think I'm definitely going to get some wear from it. I just really like how it's a longer mini style. It's actually very wearable. So the fact that it has like this smocked waist too. Wow, I really forgot how much I really, really liked this dress. I'm going to hold on to it. I really like it. I'm glad I tried it on because I forgot how much I loved it. So this is what my finished organization looks like. <laughs> I'm actually really happy with the amount of clothes that I've decluttered. Like I have a nice space and I've got, I'm getting rid of the things that basically don't fit or just don't fit into my style anymore. They're good pieces, but they deserve a better home. Good morning everyone. So today is actually Thursday and I'm going shopping with my sister and we're going to go like an hour down the road and just do a little bit of shopping. I'm going to Banana Republic and then I'm hopefully going to stop into Anthropology as well. But I quickly just want to show you my outfit before we head out the door. I'm wearing the sleeper dress again. I just can't get away from this dress. I wear it so much. It's very, very comfortable. The place that we're going to is just like a really nice upscale mall. It's like an outdoor mall. I've actually never been to it. Yeah, just want to show you my outfit really quick and then I hope you enjoy all the shopping. I love 
image of this one. Oh my goodness. This is the one that I've actually seen online. I might actually... Ooh, these look amazing. Size eight. Look at the waist on this one. Yes, definitely need to try these. Oh, here's the dress that I found online. They also have it in blue. Which, this is such a stunning blue. Very vibrant. outfit that I was the most excited to try because I really love this two-piece set so I got the skirt in a size medium and it has like this um, like lining underneath it so that is nice but it is quite large so I actually probably would go down to a small but I feel like it's just kind of like a lot of material kind of bulky right here so I feel like I could find a nicer midi skirt to go with this but I love the top so I ended up getting the top in a size small and I love the puff sleeves on it. I like how you have this like little bit of skin right here. And with the right midi skirt, you could definitely get a really pretty nice high waist with this top. So I love that about it. The material is just beautiful. I love, love this fabric. It is so nice. But I'm going to show you the back because the back is so much fun. You have like this detailed button style in the back and then you have habits that you can tie into a little bow in the back and since you do have the tie in the back you can get it really nice and fitted so i think that the size small will be nice i'm not sold on the skirt though i don't think it's the most flattering on me i really like the design of it but i do feel like i'm just getting bulky material around my hips and i don't feel like i need any extra material around my hips wow these pants i got them in a size eight and even with heels on like they're at a pretty good length for me i feel like in this mirror it's not all that flattering but in real life it actually is like it looks more flattering in real life than it does on camera oh my goodness yeah i really had to cinch it in pretty tight for it to kind of fall into place with this top there are definitely things that i like about these pants but i definitely want more of a dramatic wide leg i think that these have like a nice loose style but i'd love something a little bit more dramatic oh my goodness i love this set it's like it's kind of a different print for me i would normally go for something more floral i got the top in a size small and it fits really nicely the medium in the skirt as well is a really nice fit it almost is just like a little bit big right here i could use it taken in just a little bit but 
if they made this skirt in this white, the same white, that would be amazing. <laughs> because this skirt just has so much material and this one I felt like isn't as flattering as this skirt like with this printed skirt you get so much movement and the material is so nice it just has so much more drama to it than this skirt does which I just love about it oh my goodness I love this I'm kind of tempted with this set it really is outside of my comfort zone as far as prints but for the summer I feel like this would look really cute in Cape May. So like as far as the top though, it was a little bit confusing getting it on, but I did go ahead and just tie it in the back. I felt like it looked really cute styled up in the back. Obviously I didn't do the greatest job. I think you probably could do it in the front too, but I really like to have that flat waist. And I mean, you have the option to style it up a little bit different if you want to, but also this is amazing. Like I wish more brands would do this because this actually has a hook instead of a button, you just hook it on. Having the hook there is much easier to work with than a little button because I'm always afraid that the little buttons are going to pop open. So I will say though, I feel like it's sitting on me just a little bit off up here. It could be that I just have styled it wrong with the tie in the back, but I actually really like how it looks in the back. Oh, look at the zebra. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Such a classy outfit. Oh my goodness. This dress, I got it in a size medium, and this is almost like a dupe for my Aj dress. So I just need to find this in a white. <laughs> but actually, I'm really liking this yellow. It's such a like sunshine yellow. It's such a pretty fun color. And I like how dramatic these sleeves are. Like it just is everything that I love in dresses. And the length of this is amazing. And for reference, I am 5'10". So many dresses oftentimes are a little bit difficult for me to find, but this one falls at such a flattering length. Like it just has such a beautiful drape in the back. And then you have this little tie in the front that just really cinches in your waist and makes it look so flattering. I cannot tell you how much I love this, even in this color. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so tempted to keep this one, but I do know that I can get it 30% online, 30% off online. So it's good that I'm trying all these on because definitely is going to be one that I was looking at. And I even think I don't have any color like this in my wardrobe. And this is such a pretty fun color. I'm going to look and see what colors they have in this exact dress because I do know they have them in white they didn't have a white in my size i got this in a size medium and it's perfect and then in the back you do have this open back but you do have like the ribbon that will kind of fall along your back but you do have like this elastic in the back so it's very easy to get into and then i didn't even have to unbutton this part back here i just really like that really nice open back i'm wondering like what type of bra to wear with it though because yeah, you're definitely getting the bra strap. I guess you could go strapless, but, or not strapless. Um, you know what I mean? <laughs> the bras are just come up here. So yeah, that's the only thing. I'll have to figure out what type of bra to wear with it. Cause I don't think I can get away with not wearing a bra with this one. So I'll have to see. I do have one that just comes up here, but it's not the most comfortable. So I may have to find some bras that will work with backless yeah. styles like this because I definitely love this style of dress. This is the most flattering pair of wide leg pants I have ever tried on. The only problem, I need them in a size 8. These are in a size 10 and they're definitely falling down on my waist, but this is the type of wide leg that I'm talking about. Like I really really love this more dramatic wide leg. But they don't they only make it in this really bright color, which I do love, but I know that I would much prefer a cream or like a pink or something a little bit more like 
romantic which this is definitely in a romantic style but the color is just so bright i don't think that it would get the wear if i were to get a set like this but if they made this in a cream or like a really pretty soft pink i would love it and this set does also come with these shorts as well so you can get either the wide leg pants or the shorts and the shorts i did get in a size eight so i'm gonna try these on and see how they fit but honestly like these pants are just absolutely beautiful oh my goodness i need these shorts in soft cream or like a really pretty pink oh they fit perfectly and these are the size eight so i can already tell you right now like the size eight pants in this style would be a perfect fit so I'm gonna look online and see if they have the size 8 and if they have these in a different color which I don't think that they do but if you love bright colors and you love linen styles that are very in like very modern classic styles you would love this set and these shorts do have a zipper in the back of the shorts that you can get in and out of so it was really easy to get or just slip these on over my hips. Okay, so I am back into my very comfy sleeper dress. But this is everything that I tried on. I didn't actually try this black dress on because it, I ended up trying and pulling it up over my hips and it didn't fit over my hips. So these are the pieces I tried on. But my favorite is this dress. Oh my goodness. I'm going to look around and see if they have any more colors in this dress and we shall see i'm gonna look online too and see what the sale is but i just love this and the color is really growing on me too it's really not an overbearing yellow like it's it's definitely very bright and happy but this style is just my favorite this is the little button-up style that i was showing you in the back and i did um yes i got it in a size medium and the fabric is just beautiful and i love how it has this elastic in the back so this one is definitely on my radar i'm gonna carry this one out and look around a little bit more and see but definitely this one okay so this is where this dress is and they didn't have my size in medium so i'm gonna look online but it looks like they just have them in the white and the yellow but i am still just loving this dress oh. all right well this one is definitely on my list I'm gonna see if it's on sale and ask if it is but if it's not I'm just gonna look for it online because honestly like I would wear this color what do you think is this too bright I am back from Banana Republic and I very quickly thought that I would show you what I ended up getting from my little shopping trip. So this dress, so they actually ended up going back to the back of the store just where they keep all the stock and they ended up finding a size medium for me in the cream color. It's kind of like an off white, but it's in the same exact style as that yellow dress that I tried on and I was so close. To getting the yellow dress but I decided that this one would just be such a good neutral dress for me. I'm really trying to build up my neutral collection right now just so I have that white ivory base to work off of and then eventually get into all the fun bright colors when summer comes back around but I'm really really trying to focus on my basics this year and this is such a classic summer dress. Love the length of this dress. It just hits us such a flattering point right above the knee and the best thing is that this dress was on sale so it was the 40 percent in store but then online they also have this 30 percent off as well and i'm not sure if the sale will still be going on when this video goes live but i really hope that it does because i'm assuming it will because this is going up memorial weekend so hopefully this dress will still be on sale if you really liked the Aj dress, the Aj mini dress that I tried on in my previous video, you would love this dress, especially with the puff sleeves. And then this is just the view of the back of the dress. Ignore this situation. I do have a bra that doesn't have the straps back here that just comes up in the front, so I might work with that one, but I am thinking a bralette might be a good option with this dress as well, so I'd love to 
know what you all think. If I should just go with the strapless in the front or if a bralette would look cute with this, but I think it might just depend. I might just have to try it on for you at some point. So that is the one thing that I ended up buying for myself from Banana Republic, but I did also get Paul, my husband, a white linen shirt because everything was 30% or 40% off in store. So I ended up getting him this really nice linen shirt just so you can see it. It's kind of like a brighter linen against this dress, but let me just hold it up for you. Just a really nice classic. And he's needed one like this, so I was really happy to get him one of these. And it's just, the material feels so nice. I'm really, really happy with it. Let me know what you think about what type of bra I should wear with this. Um, I think I might try a couple different options, but yeah, I'd love to know what you guys think. And if you have any good bras that just come up in the front don't have the straps in the back if you know of any good places to get a bra like that because I have tried a couple and I just don't feel like I've found the one for me yet it's been a little bit of a, a struggle but especially since I do like the backless dresses so that is something I'm trying to work with but I think a bralette will look really cute with this that is everything that I have for you in this vlog today I hope you all enjoyed this try on I, I really didn't think that Banana Republic was going to be all that exciting for me but when you're shopping for feminine, really good quality basics, I've been really surprised at the pieces that they've had there. And I've just always kind of overlooked them and I'm not sure why. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.